Welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we are going to take a look at a brand new 2019 Forest River No Boundaries. This is the 19.7 model that they've recently come out with. This is a non-slide out ultralight travel trailer with two bunk beds in the back and a queen bed in the front. We're going to take a few minutes and walk you around the outside and inside of this new camper. On the front of the coach, you have a optional power jack, single 20 pound propane tank. There is room for one battery or two batteries if you option in for the second battery to go right down here. The front of the coach has lower diamond plate metal. That's the black part you're seeing there. And then you have a white fiberglass front and sides on the coach. There is a nice frameless window on the front section here. It has two LED lights up top for running lights. There is a hitch light down on the corner there. The camper has a power awning. This power awning is adjustable so you can tilt it side to side and it also has the LED light strip built in there too. We've got a large pass-through storage going across the front section here. Down below, you have a covered underbelly. Also has four stabilizer jacks, one on each corner. It has the nice upgraded steps. They come down, touch the ground. They cause less shaking when walking in and out of the coach. They also are stronger than the traditional hang down steps that you'll find on an RV. Entry door has a screen door attached to it also. Large folding entry handle. You have a porch light which is an amber light or a white clear light depending on which way you flip the switch. Single axle unit has nice off-road tires on it. The black thing above the window there is your stove exhaust. You have an electric outlet right there on the back side of the wheel well area. And then another black panel just behind the wheel there is the refrigerator access panel for maintenance and venting purposes. Uh, just in front of the tire is also a quick disconnect propane hookup that comes standard on the coach. So if you do a portable grill, you can hook up right down there. Again, be sure to check out Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. On the lower corner down here, you have uh, solar prep hookup so if you did a portable solar panel that is a uh, plug-in right there for that standard four inch square tube bumper the lower back portion of the camper is also a black diamond plate you have your spare tire back here you have the LED um, running lights back here and you also have a ladder to get up and down on the uh, camper On the back corner back here, you have outside utility shower, hot and cold water. Your black tank flush is also located right back here. Nice size storage compartment back here. This actually goes underneath of the bunk area. You have your gray and black handles back here along with your dump area.
the power cord plugs in right there along with your cable and satellite hookups. Furnace exhaust out here. You have a six gallon gas and electric water heater which is located right here. And your fresh water and city water fill ups are right there. Here you can see the other side of the storage compartment. Then right here is some stickers about the camper basically telling you your VIN number, your production date of when the camper was actually built at the factory, uh, axle size 4400 pound axle, tire size LT21585 R16 E range tires, uh, tire pressure is located down here 80 PSI, Dry weight is stamped here and on the frame, 3,666 pounds is what this one came in with the options we ordered on it. Now keep in mind you also have tongue weight which is different from the overall uh, axle weight and dry weight of the coach. So there is a little more carrying capacity than just the difference there. Going around and going up into the coach, when you first walk up here toward the camper, there is a little cubby hole down there. we got our power cord and stuff stashed down there now. There is also a sticker on the door frame telling you some specifications and weights. Fire extinguisher down there. The light switch for the front light is right over there on the side of the bed area. Queen bed, actually 60 by 80 queen bed, so it's not a short queen like a lot of smaller RVs are. We've got nice overhead cabinets above the bed. There are backlit LEDs inside of the cabinetry. A couple lights below that. Some lights overhead of the dinette area. And also lights up in the cabinets up there too. At the head of the bed here, you have an electric outlet in the middle, a couple cup holders there, and some little cubbies to store things down underneath of there. Nice L-shaped dinette here. You can take the table out and just set it off to the side if you're just wanting to lounge in here and watch some TV. Really nice vinyl floor throughout the coach. You have an air conditioning unit up here. This was ordered with the optional 28 inch LED 12 volt TV. On the side of the cabinet here you have your awning switch, your awning light switch, porch light switch, interior light switch, and you also have a USB charging station right there, uh, some little key holders, bottle holder, uh, bottle openers there. Nice little cabinet area here. In the bottom corner over here, that section actually is a key lock, and that actually raises up. So you can kind of hide some stuff underneath there if you wanted to. You have the convection microwave oven, so you can cook or microwave with that. Two burner gas cooktop here. This has the flip up lid that acts as a backsplash. Single stainless sink does have the little strainer cover there. High rise faucet. You also have the hood range with a fan and light built in. Overhead cabinet area here.
There's two drawers down here. These are full extending ball bearing drawer guides. The electric box with the breakers and fuses is located right below the refrigerator there. Six cubic foot gas and electric refrigerator. The bunk area over here is rated for 300 pounds each. You have a lower bunk and you can see there's some shelving back there and also on the side of the wall there's a light and a USB charging port back there too. Emergency exit window. Same thing up top for the top bunk. You have little draw curtains to close off the bunk area for the kids to get them a little privacy. Your air conditioner and furnace control is a digital thermostat located right here. Foot flush toilet. Electric outlet by the toilet there. Some shelving. And you also have the upgraded fan, which is a larger exhaust fan right there. On the side of the wall, you have a light switch and your monitor panel for your holding tanks and water pump and uh, gas water heater switch. We've got a nice shower here. This has a really nice pull across curtain that's actually attached to a metal bar and track. So it's a little nicer than a traditional hang down curtain system. Nice shower protective wall there. Skylight up above. Again, my name's Ray. I am with Couches RV Nation. If you have any questions or would like to purchase one of these campers, please feel free to give me a call. Toll-free number is 888-417-8299. My direct extension is 203. We are one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country and will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you are interested in checking out some of my other videos and getting updates and stuff. You can do that right down below. Again, give me a call if you have any questions.